All right, guys, we are back with another video. This one is Yellow Pain. Deadbeat. Yes, sir. Deadbeat. Yes. All right. We're supposed to send this to a deadbeat dad, so we're sending this to every deadbeat dad that's watching this video. Yeah. You may not know you're a deadbeat dad, but this video is going to explain it for you, I think. Yep. Yeah. If you don't watch it, then you're more of a deadbeat dad, so this will help. <laughs> All right. Well, it's been a minute since we did some Yellow Pain, but... Uh, here we are. So let's jump right in and check out Deadbeat. Yeah, that's all. He always has some real shit people don't want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> How could you ever experience this in a Benny or child? Especially knowing you know that pain because your father was never around. Can't lie. At first I was nervous, but I never felt better than now. Ain't no better feeling than seeing your spitting image look up at you and smile. Real men take care of their kids. You ain't real if you a deadbeat. And I ain't real if I ain't motivated when I know my baby look dead on me. I swear that just put a fire in me. The provider in me probably never sleep. Because how could I sleep when it's so, so innocent, solely dependent on me for the everything? But one thing I just don't understand, though, is I thought we was family. Why you keep hiding your phone from me? I ain't playing. You better not embarrass me. <laughs> you just probably try and get revenge for the shit I did during the pregnancy. But you can't keep holding that pain against me when you know you got a fucking baby with me. Who you, who you messaging? I ain't tripping. I ain't stressing. It's just if somebody hit my baby moms, I should kind of embarrass. But you know how women do. They just gonna lie about the narrative. Paint a picture saying I never cared. And they'll have a nigga around my daughter. I swear that shit back was like right in the nerve. It, but oh well. Ain't gonna keep fighting tooth and nail. She keep talking like she by herself. So I'ma just send her money through the zip. And when you call, I'ma pick up my daughter. So you don't gotta give her to no one else. But it ain't no point in me stepping the foot where I'm not respected. But don't ever say you ain't got help. Cause I just been giving my last. Trying to provide for a family I really don't have. And no, I ain't rich. But whenever you tell me my daughter needs something, I give at least half. You don't never give me credit. You know I be going through shit. You like pulling my scabs. I wanted my daughter to get the best dad. But all of this bickering kicking my ass. Fuck it, I'm done even. Turn into zombie you know you telling me shit that I wouldn't provide. Honestly, I wasn't even ready for no baby shit. I was just young and excited. So uh. much I never acknowledge how battle depression and trauma and suffering silence. Rather you not even see me in this predicament, but I'm sending money, I promise. Well, I'm going to try to send something, but I've just been struggling lately. I want to be honest. It ain't no question if I still got love for my daughter, but shit just been running my pockets. Plus, I know she in good hands. She got all her basic needs. And even if people hate me, I explain it to her when she 18. Congratulations, you played yourself. Welcome to being a Debbie. Welcome to the club where they got valid reasons to walk out on their families. And I know you was listening hard to see why your story don't match and you picked it apart. That's what Debbie love to do. All they really need is one excuse. Cause you'd rather somebody suffer than losing your comfort. You know that's the fucking truth. Cause if your daughter catches stomach flu, is you the one that come and pick her up from school? Nah, can you even name something new? Did you know that she just lost another two? If somebody touch her inappropriate, do you think you gon' be the one she running to? Damn. And I think your ass even one or two. And that couple hundred there once in a blue moon will not count as coming through. And if they don't let you see the kids, then you gotta fight for it till your knuckles blue. That is not a reason to get comfortable when you got somebody looking up to you, nigga. <laughs> real That's the get. realest <laughs> shit I've ever heard right there. Dude, like he broke that shit down. Like if you don't know if you're a deadbeat dad or not after hearing that. Yeah, that lets you know. Like, yeah, that lets you know. He broke it down for you. No matter what, no matter what the situation is, you can't cope with excuses for no, being, being no. there. If you if you have a child, that child is your responsibility, whether you're with that woman or not. Yeah, you can't just be like, oh, they're good now. Yeah, I, you know what I mean. Yeah, and that's that's part of the biggest problem we have with you know with broken families like that when they when they when the woman and the man separate and you know i mean it it happens both ways you know if the man keeps the child the woman doesn't always the woman's stick probably less likely to pay child support in that case cuz if the man usually has a child it's usually the woman's not in the situation you know mentally st are stable enough to take care of that child and usually it's right the case where the man will be like, well, don't even, I don't even care about your child support. I got this. You know what I mean? Yeah. In those certain six, in those circumstances, but, but like I said, it go, it can go both ways. You can be a deadbeat uh, mother or a deadbeat father. So it, it can go both ways. And he just basically broke down exactly, you know, if, if you're doing this, you're doing that, you're the deadbeat, you know? 
And so, yeah, <laughs> that's the realest shit I've ever heard right there. Yeah. But in the beginning, you know, it's like he was looking for that picture perfect family. Yeah. You know, got tore apart. But that's not, that can't be your excuse. Exactly. To not be around. And I mean? Yeah. I mean, you have to, like I said, you have a child, that child's your responsibility for the rest of its life, whether you're with its mom or not. Yeah. So, yeah. That was a pretty powerful song, actually. You know, I mean, it, it definitely speaks to those people. And, and yeah. you know, there's people out there that, like, sometimes sit and think when they're in the in the in it, you know what I mean? Like, when they're going through the motions on on shit and trying to trying to self-reflect on, on what they did wrong, that question their own, you know, am I a deadbeat dad? Did I, have I not done what I should have done or should be doing? Yeah. So, you know, if you're, if you're doing all you can to stay a part of your child's life and be there for that child, yeah, you know, or you're, yeah, there's in, people in prison, you know what I mean? That do more to be, with their child and people outside that live like a mile away. Yeah. You know what true. I'm saying? So it's true. Seen it firsthand. So. Yeah. But you know, yeah, that's, that's as real as real can be right there. He broke it down for all of us. <laughs> Good track. I liked it. <laughs> 